If you stripped Monster Hunter down to its core components and redesigned it as a free-to-play online-only game, you get something very close to Dauntless. It takes most of the best parts of Capcom's iconic franchise and redeploys them in a way that's accessible and fun with a whole lot less baggage. Slaying is basically all you do. There's not much by way of story, so when you're not customizing things, you're out in the wild chopping off tails, dodging fireballs, and slaying enormous beasts. The excellent moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is focused on constant progression through a hunt, craft, repeat loop. Every monster you kill nets you a bunch of crafting materials like hides and feathers and scales that are used back in town to craft weapons and armor based on those very same monsters. You need to harvest fire-based creatures to craft fiery weapons that will help you take down ice monsters, and you need to harvest the ice monsters to make armor good enough to withstand the ice-based attacks of even stronger ones. You also progress just by doing things. The more you use a type of weapon or slay a type of beast, the higher your mastery rank increases in that specific field. The higher your mastery level is, the better gear you can make, the better upgrades you can unlock, and so on. It's a system that rewards commitment and, refreshingly, it doesn't punish you for not spending money on the optional and mostly cosmetic microtransactions. Each of Dauntless's six weapon types feel unique and powerful, and they can be upgraded and customized to your taste. The sword is nice and balanced as a good entry weapon, but the flashiness of the war pike makes it an exciting one to wield for extended combos. The only dual wielding melee option are the chain blades. They're extremely fast and efficient, whereas the repeaters offer a mid-range handgun style to mix things up. Hammers are the slowest of the bunch but inflict huge damage, and the axe is somewhere between the sword and the hammer as a massive bladed weapon that's fine tuned for slicing and dicing. Of all the weapon types, my favorite was the War Pike because it feels the most distinctive. It's got good range for a melee weapon and can attack either very quickly to build up your special meter or slowly for strong slashing attacks to break off monster parts. Its combos and combat style are the most nuanced and tricky of the weapon options, but it feels great once you get the hang of it. It also just looks really cool to use. Monster designs are often a mix between fantastical creatures and more grounded real-world animal hybrids. While not quite as otherworldly as the bombastic beast from God Eater, nor as realistically designed as Monster Hunter's dinosaur-esque creatures, Dauntless has a striking style all its own that really grew on me over time. Learning attack patterns and perfecting your dodge roll is just as important as knowing your weapon combos. When you dodge, you're invulnerable for a brief time, so you can actually roll towards and through enemies mid-fight. But since so many weapons are huge with deliberate wind-ups, timing things so that you don't get stuck in an attack animation right as a behemoth is barreling towards you is key. It's got a great rhythm of planning and execution in each fight. Multiplayer is a blast, and even works cross-platform between PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Working together to slay a behemoth is rewarding, and between the variety of weapons and armor plus colored dyes, it's nearly impossible to see two players that look the same. Whenever I logged into Dauntless, I'd often jump right into matchmaking for a hunt and get dropped into one of the three fairly straightforward biomes in under a minute. Most last less than 10 minutes total, and then you're right back to the hub to quickly craft before going out again. Hardcore Monster Hunter fans will likely miss the complications they've grown to love such as tracking monsters, capturing them, and exploring multiple zones across each hunt to find the right beasts in the wild. But having a more streamlined experience removed a ton of the friction that would otherwise slow me down, which made enjoying the genre that much easier. Technically, you can play Dauntless privately without matchmaking, but you'll still need to be online, and I wouldn't really recommend it anyway. If you get downed or die during a hunt even once with no one to revive you, then your rewards are dramatically reduced. So other than torturing yourself with artificially inflated difficulty that makes every fight take three times as long, there's not really anything to gain.
Dauntless is a surprising achievement, not only for its intensely fun and accessible monster hunting action, but also for its seamless cross-platform multiplayer and non-intrusive free-to-play mechanics. Removing much of the supporting system's complexity from games like Monster Hunter leaves a core that's immensely fun to dive into for quick sessions or hours on end, even if the depth and amount of activities outside of combat and crafting are lacking. For more, check out some Dauntless gameplay and look at the character creator, or watch our review of Monster Hunter World. And for everything else, stick with IGN.